So it wouldn't be Christmas without a little Baymax Christmas tree doodle. Now this was a really fun uh, commission that I got through Etsy and it's actually, I've already, she's already commissioned me once and I've done a video on it and it was the Galaxy Llama. It's actually Maddie and Maddie actually commissioned me to do this Baymax doodle. She just kind of like, she just reached out to me through Etsy and she messaged me and she was just like, so if I give, so can you just make a character that's Christmassy, any kind of cartoon character? And I was like, Maddie, I need at least your top 10, top 10 favorite characters. <laughs> that's such a wide spectrum. And I was like, okay. So I saw Baymax was actually on her top 10 favorite characters. And I was looking at the rest of her list and I was like, oh my gosh, I love Baymax. And you can't go wrong with mixing Baymax and Christmas together. So I made this doodle. This is actually on toned gray paper. Um, right now, I don't know. It, you guys have to comment down below if you've worked with toned tan paper and toned gray paper before. I feel like there's a difference. I mean, no matter what, you have to know that everything's going to be brighter in contrast wise when it comes to coloring on toned tan or toned gray paper. But I've colored so many times on toned tan paper, I think that there's something different about toned gray paper. And I mean, you can't even you can even tell that it's gray paper, but it's like, I feel like there's more fibers in the paper or, I don't know. I find it's a little bit more difficult to fill in as opposed to toned tan paper. I, I have no idea. I might be going completely crazy, but I usually work with toned tan paper the most, but the gray paper, something interesting was going on like even right now if you follow me on instagram i'm doing a 25 days countdown to christmas by doing an advent calendar so i'm encouraging everybody to comment their favorite characters so if i see it i can go ahead either just flat out draw them as in a christmas inspired attire or something christmasy about them or just like to put them in the advent calendar or I usually put up a poll or if I just see a character and I see I uh, like it I'm just like yeah okay I'm gonna draw Anastasia who, who let's go ahead and do that but I'll have to make a video like at the end of Christmas once it's completely full and just show you guys just the advent calendar there is no way that I could possibly like record every single day of the advent calendar this year like I kind of did with the inktober videos there was no way that it was gonna happen. Like, I thought about going ahead and recording myself coloring the advent calendar every day until Christmas, but Christmas, if you watched my plan with me in December, I completely swamped the first three weeks of Christmas. It's, it's insane. And it's because I'm involved with the theater shows at my work. So I'm painting the set, I'm running backstage, I'm their stage manager, it's just complete crazy chaos and i love it though but yes here we go thank you maddie once again for commissioning me to do this adorable little doodle of baymax christmas tree i don't know leave in the comments down below do you like do you see a difference between tone tan or tone gray paper if you've worked with both i i don't know i i think i honestly am going crazy but yes guys i hope you have a most wonderful day we're so close merry christmas and a happy new year Woo! bye